Dear members of the State Commission, please come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, during this session of the State Commission, we need to approve the prime and the backup crews the Soyuz TMA-21 spacecraft. In recognition of the 50th anniversary of the first manned flight, and also in recognition of the heroic feat by Yuri Gagarin, who was the first one to make the first step into the space, this vehicle has been uh, officially designated the name Gagarin. The technical uh, and state Commission members have been heard and reviewed the reports on the technical status of the International Space Station in, in the process of uh, the spacecraft and the launch vehicle processing and in recognition of uh, all the personnel and assets readiness have hereby decreed to perform the launch of the Gagarin Soyuz carrying ISS-27 crew to the International Space Station on April 5, 2011. This will be a very important mission. The crew will stay on station for 162 days. During this increment, the uh, crew members will perform a large body of work servicing the station systems, resupplying and outfitting it, performing the uh, large scope of scientific tasks in a variety of disciplines. Yesterday, for the uh, close-up operation schedule, the rocket was rolled out to the launch pad exactly on schedule and then per the technical documentation, and it went through the, uh, the, all the uh, tests that were scheduled for yesterday, the launch vehicle and the spacecraft in stack. All the tests came back at the uh, expected level of quality. Dear Mr. Permanov, ladies and gentlemen of the State Commission, to perform the ISS 27-28 long-term increment, we had the following crews training. Alexander Samokutyaev, Soyuz Commander, Station Flight Engineer. Andrei Borisenko, Soyuz Flight Engineer, ISS 27 uh, Flight Engineer, ISS-28, Commander, and Ronald Guerin, Flight Engineer for the Station and the Soyuz. The backup crew is Anton Shkaplerov, Soyuz Commander, ISS-27, Flight Engineer, ISS-28, Commander. Anatoly Ivanishin, Soyuz Flight Engineer, Station Flight Engineer. And Daniel Burbank, FE-2 for the vehicle and Station Flight Engineer. The training flow has, been flow has been completed, all the exams have been passed, qualification tests have been completed. All right, Ron, Alexander, Andre, you know, this is the eve of the 50th anniversary of uh, Yuri's flight. Godspeed. Alexander, Mr. Permanov, esteemed members of the State Commission, both myself and my crew, my team, will make the best effort possible to make good on everything you've trained us to do, to do it at the uh, highest level of quality possible in performing the tasks that we've been charged with performing. We've become a really well-built team. As we've been going through our training flow, we know each other very well now, and we like working together. Of course, we would also like to say thank you to all the ground support teams, all the specialists that have uh, designed and built this wonderful vehicle that we've been dreaming for so long of flying on. On behalf of the whole crew, thank you very much. Next.
Alexander Borisenko, Light Engineer. Dear members of the State Commission, I would like to join the words of my commander, Alexander, and I'd like to add to that by saying that we feel the responsibility uh, in you deciding that we'll be flying this particular vehicle. We'll perform the whole set of tasks. The whole mission will be uh, performed and completed successfully. Thank you. Flight Engineer 2, Ronald Guerin. This is a great honor for me to be part of this crew. Fifty years ago, one single nation performed the first manned launch, launching Gagarin into space. This was the first step towards exploring space. And today, 50 years later, the three of us, as part of this crew, are representing the international space community. The strength of our partnership is that we are together and we support each other in times that are good and bad. After the Columbia tragedy, all the partners felt our pain and experienced this tragedy with us. And today, we are feeling the pain of our Japanese colleagues now that they're living through their tragedy in their country. We've all proven that in working together, we can achieve uh, amazing things, both in space and on Earth. And I just want to say thank you so much to you for everything.